guys, welcome back to my channel, Jonesy Space Cat. I am Jonesy. Just a quick reminder, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links for those are in the description. If you wish to support the channel, I also have a Discord and a Patreon. The links for those are also in the description. Guys, we're in Mexico. We're with the rebels. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, still in Mexico, we are just on our way to see Louisa. Um, nothing has changed since we last had an episode. That was a really roundabout way of saying something. Why is there lots of dead bodies here? Uh, just, let's just quickly investigate. Just because if this was Red Dead 2, Murphy would be around. Um, but you know, I don't really need any more horse skins. Is it just... I'll take that. Can I not loot your body? Can I not loot your body? Why am I not allowed to loot their body? Um, this dude here? Perfect. I mean, ammo is all I really need. Okay. Um, yeah, as I was saying, we're on our way to see Louisa. Get out of the way, dogs! Um, my riding abilities have not got any better. Uh, I'm pretty sure my aiming ability wouldn't have got any better. So, yeah. Let's let's just wait and see what kind of chaos happens, dudes. Okay, so we're coming up to where Louisa is. She's not at her house anymore. Uh, oh, yeah, she's in the little hidey place just around the back. I was trying to come off my horse slowly. <laughs> I should have told you that. I'd just been like, yeah, that's how I get off the horse. Oh gosh, are we going straight into a big fight? I have not warmed up. That wretched animal that Santa has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulco. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Okay. Hurry, I don't know how much time we have. Uh, where's my horse? There's my horse. Come on, jump on pony! Maybe the Santa can tell you where to find Javier Escuela. I we am. We must hurry! We cannot allow the Santa to murder more of our people! No worries! I still haven't you worked out this time. what kind hurry, of gun I like to use. Um, he's hardly worth hating. I just want to collect what he owes me. <gasps> sunset. He only likes to kill when a man it's is gorgeous. on his knees. He likes to do a lot of things to men on their knees. That is also true. <laughs> well, now I hope I will have your revenge. I need him alive. I got information on the men I'm looking for. Uh, and when oh. you have the information, then we can kill him. Yours. I'm not very good at keeping people alive. I'm kind of a shoot per <laughs> a shoot first kind of person. It is good that you are helping Luisa. It ain't right what happened to her father. She's a brave girl. She can fight as well as any man. She ain't the only woman I've seen fighting for Reyes. Yes, women, even children. Everybody must become a soldier if we are to win this war. Oh, That's a lot Sadie of sacrifice. Adler. Where are you? I just hope it's worth it. It is better to die free than live as slaves. Are we kind of done with the whole Bonnie story? Is she in it anymore? Obviously no spoilers, but I'd like to see more of Bonnie. She was cool. Oh my god, this landscape. <laughs> what happened to that bird? <laughs> I gotta love a glitch. We don't want to give him a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. Oh, en el nombre del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y del estado de este país, te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. What a Come douche. On, I think he might have killed everyone already. Oh. <gasps> Oh, headshot! Abraham Reyes! You trying to fight me? Where are they? There's one. Ah. I 
can see him. Oh, no. Pop up. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, John. Can we? Oh, I think you may have been a good guy. Can we go over? How do I? I still don't know how to do that. <laughs> I can't get over. Oh dear. Stop. Is there a, there's a bad dude around here? Where's my horse? Am I meant to be chasing him or running after him? And when I say chasing, I mean obviously on my horse. I need my. Can we? Okay, okay. I can't get on my horse and think about this at the same time. Or should I get my horse? I mean, I'm so close. It's you first, then Alinde. Okay, okay. We're catching up. We're catching up. Shoot him and shoot at me! Why have I got my I'll hand? Rip your heart. He was shooting at me! <laughs> I guess I need to hog tie him, don't I? So he can't shoot me. Oh god! <laughs> Guys, I'll meet you back at the chase. Stop shooting me! Okay, so that went as well as can be expected. We had no choice. I'm gonna hurt you! <laughs> if I can catch you. Tell me where a squala is! I can't see him. Yes, oh, okay. We got that. Spare me, and I will make you a rich man. Fuck you. Spare you. You tried to kill me. I don't want to be rich. I don't need to be rich. You're I need. I can understand that. I need to be bill rich, not money rich. Oh, is there still bad guys shooting? I might have to drop you in a minute, mate, and. Uh, Finish off what I started. We'll have the entire Mexican army after you. Good. I mean, I won't kill you. I'll leave that to my rebel friends. Please, we can come to an agreement. We can come to an agreement. I think not. No agreement. Oh, there's my yellow cross. There's also a bad guy there, though. Think about what you are doing. Oh, I've thought about it, mate. Long and hard. I've hated you for a long, long time. Where is he? <laughs> he was just dead in there. Oh dear, that's a purple face. It's no more than he deserves. Okay. All right. All right. Is, hold up there. is he? Or is that man lying? Where his name is? I don't even want to say his name. He disgusts oh, me that much. Kill me. Just let me go. Okay. Can we Ew. kill this piece of shit now, senor? <laughs> or would you like to pleasure yourself? Oh. You, you don't have to do this. This is for treating women like shit. Now we're easy, Captain. See, 
<laughs> yeah, it is. What you got on you, friend? Um, I should have really let them kill that dude, but do you know what? He was an absolute shite bag. So, can we learn how to do this? Oh, it's it's X. Is he talking to me? Look, mate. I need. Is he just going to keep on talking? Because I just want at least the ammo. Look, just because this dude is shouting at me, I'm not going to loot everybody. Let's just go. Get back on your horse. I am glad it was you, compadre. Come on. Thank you. you. Give up now. I'm not. Is For this my horse? You got to finish yourself. That man is responsible for hundreds of innocent deaths, maybe thousands. He will burn in hell. Yeah, he we will. We all will, my friend. Oh. Espinosa is dead. The Santa is dead. The army is without leaders. We must move on Allende now before it's too late. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Yes, come with me. Friends are always needed. I kind of feel like Javier was the one who didn't aim his gun, though, in the end of Red Dead 2. He didn't shoot at us. It was Dutch and that dickbag Micah. We was friends once, long time ago. Not anymore. Old friends make their worst enemy. You're telling me. Escuela is known in this province. He was a revolutionary once, but then he went to your country. Now they say he kills for anybody to pay. What are you doing? That sounds about right. <laughs> Show me what we're doing. On your horse. We don't what? have time for this. This place is deserted. Is it always this quiet? No. no. But maybe the girls are all occupied. Ahora mismo! Hijo de puta! Look out! It is a trap! Viva la revolución! Go! Get out the way! You wanna stop doing that? <laughs> I love doing this. Is he alive? Why is he sitting down and shooting someone? <laughs> now he's not. Did I get you in the shoulder? Let me get you in the other one. Uh huh. Oh. Done this way. Oh! Stop it! Oh, nice shooting, dude. Okay, this one. You say goodbye to your head. <laughs> Long arm Marston. Long arm of Marston. Hey, you, lady. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. Liar. You shut up this place for him, huh? Oh. I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. <laughs> Captain DeSantis said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place else. <laughs> <laughs> she classy. <laughs> What's wrong with her? Why is she in such a strop? Uh, fair enough, I did shoot up her town, house. It was not a house, but... Right, I am looting the bodies this time. Okay, dudes, I'm stuck. As always, uh, <laughs> I have... I have um, saved it bought a house, got all my pickups. Uh, we're now on the way to see Abraham. Um, maybe he knows more about where um, Javier is, I hope. Oh, we've been, we've done that. Um, we haven't done it, but we're still doing that side mission. Can we just be a bit more considerate about how much of the road we're taking up, please? Um, so yeah. On our way to see... Oh, shit. Abraham! <laughs> okay, Abraham. Where are you? Wow, this place looks nice. I've got a house here. <laughs> oh my god, I've just bought so many houses, I don't even know where they are.
Hello. Why is everywhere deserted? <laughs> it's the middle of the day, I think. I think it's the middle. Yeah. Where is everybody? <laughs> How do they put that in games? Excuse <laughs> me. I don't know how to edit that out. <laughs> Go, you should cover yourself up. <laughs> what would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Oh, holy crumbs. Luisa, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Campo Murata, uh, all right. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was incredible. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. She thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe I don't like this guy. Says, so nice. What a player. He's really quite charming. I and a dog. Them. Don't you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you going to marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight <sighs> and the hands of a farmer. <laughs> I really don't this think cave so. is My killing mother, me. Your luck with it would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm. But come on. He has run. no morals. An amazing present for you, my brother, I guess. The man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. You know where they are? Oh, poor Louisa. Let's go, John. She... Today we will both have victory. Uh, that's a lot of TNT. You better be driving, bud. Okay, good. <laughs> I cannot be trusted with a wagon full of uh, TNT. That's just not on. Yeah, the whole, like sex thing in games it makes me feel very awkward it's like watching it with your parents i am happy it was your bullet jump after what he did to you in chuparosa i wasn't gonna give him a second chance to kill me must have felt good not particularly he was hardly worth a bullet um yeah it wasn't as bad as the whole abby and owen scene though in Last of Us 2. That that was something else. They, <laughs> they are at a presidio jump. Can you believe it? The place we first met. The scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take the presidio, then we can move on escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Just don't trust a word sure that he says. There? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. Escuela will do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. You then see, he will die. You should have trusted your brother, Abraham, all along. When we have him, then you can start making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. Are we there? No. I knew I had heard the name Javier Escuela before. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All before my rebellious urges took hold, of course. <laughs> I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. Cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Whereas you, John, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. No, I think John's pretty fight cynical. What he, believed in. he had a lot of passion, no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course. But then we all did. I was going to say, they all did to begin with. When Dutch started falling apart, it hit Javier harder than any of them. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he'd ever believed in turned out to be a fraud. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fondness. We was close once. He was. He never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He 
You left me to die. We had a chance to save me. And didn't he teach you any Spanish during all this time you were together? I remember Cabron being used a lot. Well, now you get to pay that Cabron a surprise visit. I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williamson. We just don't know how it's gonna go, guys. Like... It's gonna be fun because there's a lot of TNT, but... Javier yeah, was our friend. Another loyal supporter of free Mexico. What? You want a name? You can't even remember the name of the girl you're married. Have you ever known Power Young? I'm a semi-literate farmer and hired killer. I ain't in the power game. Then That's his full job title. <laughs> that any woman will bear your child. And for her, you will be an honor. I've known about enough bastards. Without making too many more of my own. A man like me cannot be with just one woman. It would be an injustice to the people I have devoted my life to serve. You have an interesting way of serving the people. Kind of like a national gigolo. <laughs> His I the professional title. To breed, my brother. If I can get noble blood flowing through the veins of peasants, can you imagine how great this country can be? An army of reyes, of kings. I wish I'd never asked. Yeah. The way he talks about Louisa being like a peasant girl and stuff like that. What does he think he is? He ain't Have nothing you special. Your time in Mexico, John? It ain't exactly been a vacation. Why are you talking like this is already over? I don't know. One way or another, this might be the end. What do you think of the Mexican people? I ain't sure. Some of them been kind, but a lot of them tried to kill me. Come, my brother. I know what you Americans call us. Is this is it. Is this where we meet? Javier. Pepper guts. For a land of immigrants, you don't like foreigners very much. I don't care who a man is, what he does, or where he's from. If he treats me right, I'll do the same. Hey, it's that can we just come from here? You, you would make a fine socialist. What about the Chinese workers here? I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. Racist. You have all the makings of a great leader, Abraham. Yeah. I would quite like Abraham to die. <laughs> like, after he's done all the good work. The revolution is gaining momentum. He does good, Do but he's a bad person. I thought about the day I will march into Escalera and storm Allende's mansion. I think oh, I have some that. idea. Soon he will be me sleeping on those silk sheets and the colonel lying with the cucarachas. Cucaracha. You might want to wash those sheets. <laughs> Amen. Right, the sheets would be... Do you be... really think a revolution can work? Do you have enough men? Revolution begins with one person, John. One person ain't gonna defeat the Mexican army. The poor are many and together we are strong. They are ready to fight. If it does work, it will. If it does work, and you take down Alinde, what then? I will give the greatest speech of my life. But after all the fighting and all the speeches are over, what will you do? I will march on the capital and take on Sanchez himself. All right, when Mexico's yours, and you have all the power you desire, what will you do with it? Like any great leader, my brother, I will delegate. delegate. This sunset glow just hits me in the warm and fuzzies. Like, it's so warming. I say I'm not usually in favor of American interference, but it will be sad to see you go. I ain't going nowhere till I have Bill Williams. What will you do when this is over? I want to go home, work my land, and grow old with my wife. That is hard for me to imagine. It's hard for me too, but I've pulled this trigger too many times now. I'm getting tired. Well, get ready to pull it a few more times. El Presidio will be heavily guarded. Oh, I think I got a few more left in me. Maybe one day you can return to Mexico like Lando Ricketts. Oh, a Landon. famous outlaw come to die in the sunshine. I've met him. He's a cynical American renegade on my staff. I'll bear that in mind. Yeah, I'm never working for you ever again, mate. Ever. Apart from when it's needed in this game, obviously. Allow me some silence on the journey. I have the weight of a nation on my shoulders. <laughs> He's such a billock. I 
think we're there. Well, we're at the destination point anyway. <laughs> My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. Oh! I see you in there, amigo. Crapola. Good luck, my brother. We will be right behind you. Why would you be in front of me doing this instead? I mean, when do I jump? Oh shit! <laughs> no way he went into the door! That's hilarious! <laughs> I didn't realise I was still steering after I jumped off. So I was kind of jumping off for John. Go find the school I jump! Leave the army to us! Wait, where are the bad guys? I thought we were friends! You sons of bitches deserve to die! Uh. Oh, I was aiming at No puede ganar! Uh. John. Where are they? Anymore? Where are they? Uh. Oh my god! The army? You have to be joking! Where's my aim? That's what I want. Oh, oh baby! How are you up there? Can we get his leg? Yes. There's some... Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, up there. Guys, there's one here. John, <laughs> when you're ready. I think they just keep on coming, are they not? Uh, let's go this way. Uh, up here? Again, up again. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> I just got really caught. Can we go up the ladder? <gasps> oh. 
Um, hello. Can we? This should change proceeding Can I? Oh, I can't even. Uh, is this my? Where are they all? Oh god, this is so slow. That's the only. To your head. Oh my god, they just keep on coming, but this is fun. I've always wanted to be a sniper before. Where are they? Yeah, it's too it's too slow. Come on, John. <laughs> no, get down. Oh, can we just <laughs> just try and be cool? No, John, get off the ladder. Oh my god, this is insane! There's so many people! They just keep on coming! Is that him? Hello, old friend. It's been a long time. Hi. Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. Is that him? I heard you was coming. You he doesn't look the same. Time, no? <laughs> Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean oh, so much. Him. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you no. do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. Well... I'm telling the truth. It was Dutch. Besides... I can give you a bill. In Dodge, Dodge is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die whoa. to save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa. you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. <laughs> oh my god. Can we. Can I get up? I forget how to use the button. Can we? I can't get out. Okay. Where did he go? Oh no. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Bye everyone! A horse! Okay, uh. Did I? Yeah. Stop shooting me! Oh, my poor horse. My horse has no stamina. <laughs> oh my god, it's like Bluff all over again. I've got no freaking stamina management. Come on. 
with now, huh? Let's go. Uh, I need to be on the road to be. I was trying to do like cut off, and I don't want to be hit by bullets. Oh my god, that makes me nervous. Can we? Uh, hogtie. Thank you. No, hogtie. I'm taking you in, my brother. Oh my god. I'll let the others judge it. Where's Bill? I don't Where's know. Where's Bill, you son of a bitch? You think I won't kill oh. you, brother? He ain't here, brother. I really thought he was gonna kill me. Uh, horse? Oh no. <laughs> That's not my horse. It's a little late for revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. Uh, is that my? Now. I don't think this is my horse. Come on, amigo. That's his Abigail horse. Abigail wouldn't want this. Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought she was a creep. Did she? Let's go. Am I mistaking Javier for someone family, else? Brother. You and me. I thought he was the good guy. Able, I guess. Well, mm. Leaving each other for dead. There was that. I thought he was the nice one. You don't understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. Yeah, this isn't my horse. <laughs> Whoopsie. It was Bill, not me. Yeah, and he's okay. next. How can I believe you now, though? He's just lied. So you and Bill are back together. Two crazy men sharing a bed. Saucy. Go to hell, you pathetic fool. Oh, Javier, there's no need for that now, is there? Dutch never liked you, you know? I gave up caring about him or you a long time ago, friend. As I say, this ain't been a social call. It's just business. Finally, you have what you came for, my friend. You're gonna be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless uh, they choose to hang you. Where's the... No. Oh. <laughs> Wrong button. Can we... Get off? Let me go, John. Uh, character you X. You're wasting what's left of your breath. Uh, where's the, the jail? Breathe the air. Last of either, yeah. you're gonna be dead, <laughs> That's handy. Nice and close. Oh, shit. Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Oh, it meant nothing oh, to you. Puto. Oh, one day, one day, I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Oh. Such a good one liner. And children rot in hell. You know that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcement. Come. Oh, do yeah. I get to use the Gatling gun now? Puto. <laughs> is that the only word he knows? <laughs> we have to hold the board, John. Use one of the cannons. <gasps> Did he say cannon? Wait, up here. Stop it. Stop them, Marston. Matting a todos. Oh, baby. <laughs> I wanna... Okay. What the hell happened? Oh, I shot it at myself. That was a bit dumb. Just to make sure... Uh, just a bit in front. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. This is insane. Sorry, horses. Sorry about that, 
<laughs> He's not sorry at all. <sighs> so, every single one of my first shots, like, completely was a miss. But my second shots, uh, I was just checking if there was any pickups. Uh, how do I... Ooh, is that a gun? How do I get down? It's down here, isn't it? This game is so crazy. Oh. It's fine, it's fine. That's how you go downstairs. Uh, sorry, mate. Have you thought about your life choices yet? Where are we taking him now? Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Is it? Where are we going? Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I don't like these guys. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. <laughs> Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. Ooh, we have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs> oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> I hate them. Woohoo! Sons of Mexico! That was so much fun, guys. I can't even tell you. Oh, no, I've got my horse back. I'm famous! Um, right, what's next? Um, always gunfire. Always gunfire. We are off to see... Where's that? Oh, it's just a fire. Okay. Um, we're off to see Abraham. Okay. Okay, guys, we are off to see, or we're here to see Abraham. It's so white around here. What are these dudes doing out with guns? Why is there loads of dead bodies? I'm gonna get off my horse. I wanna investigate. What is going on? Why is there a dead lady? I mean, I feel bad. He didn't even notice. I just looted your mum. <laughs> oh, it's another one. Why is there so many dead people? Who are these people? Are these the bad people? Oh, okay. I thought that was me. <laughs> What's going on in here? What's happening? <laughs> oh, let's not be mean to people. Unless they're bad. I have no idea what they're saying. I wish I could speak another language. Oh, there's our friend, look. Oh, Abraham. Welcome to Mexico. My brothers and I are just discussing the future of our country. Okay, <laughs> let this man go. And who are you, gringo? I'm no one. John Marston. Unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? <sighs> oh, you should listen to him, friend. <gasps> oh, that. shit. You want to risk it? 
Risk it for a biscuit or your face. If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. Put the gun down, Americano. Ya, ya, mátalo. Dejen mi hombre. Do we go? Dios mío. Puta Santa Maria. Shoot him in the face. Down, you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we fight like men, not like. Dog. You are a dog. Johnny's gonna try and shoot you. <laughs> I've got to get this one. I have to get this one. Follow Wisa. Oh, the music. It's like the heartbeat. You are so dead, mate. my brother now the people are finally ready today we overthrow the coronel i'm not gonna cut you free just yet i'm gonna loot bodies you oh, i'm not looting louisa um you don't even know you're not even upset we must escape now while we have the chance oh louisa Vamos. There will uh, be more in their way. fine Senor. There are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? I will rally the peasants, Joe. You go after the prisoners. Uh. Up here? I don't know where. I don't know where the jail is. This way? Here, here. Oh, yeah, here. Ooh. I wasn't quite ready for that. Oh, shoot the locks. Uh, let's use that. You could go free. Did I not get that one? Did I not get you out, mate? Can we be careful? You are welcome, my friend. I can't do this kind of accent. I don't know why I'm trying. Let's get out of here, friends. Shit. Uh... <laughs> that should do it. Did I kill the dude, my dudes as well? Explosives. Where is the machine gun? Enough. <laughs> Close enough to get shot by it, though. 
I was too keen. Uh, maybe I'll get all of my explosives back now. Maybe. Vamos, mis hermanos. Tomamos la mansión de Allende. I'm so stuck. Okay. Right, let's be a bit more patient about it this time. Thing. I just want your ammo. Oh, that, that gun. No, am I full? We did all right, guys. Although Come I can't. On, John. We have to move forward. I am moving forwards, just very slowly. Go for the machine gun, John. And this thing? We will blast through the door with gunpowder barrels. Wait while we get everything into position. <laughs> get out of the way, you moron. No, Joe. Out of the way. I ain't playing here. Why are they not dying? They are running back inside! Adelante! A la mansión! Let's go get them then! I'll take all you there! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, I can see you hiding. I'm gonna get your butt. Where's this one more? Where is he? Could you please move? <laughs> I can see you. I don't care about the money, I just want I just want your guns and ammo. No, am I full? I'm full. Okay. Where is he? Now what? Where are we going? 
Oh, compadres, aquí vienen más. Están subiendo la cuesta. I have no idea what he's saying. Preparados, defenden la puerta. No den a nadie entrar. Ah, Gatlinger, Gatlinger. so little like they don't have horses that I can shoot anymore it's too much fun <laughs> and it doesn't use my bullets He's already got this delegation thing down to a T. Where is he? to shoot on a horse. Wait, where am I going? Okay. Sorry, horse, out the way. Oh my God. my bloody horse. Oh no, this is my horse. I don't know what horse is mine. Let's go. Okay guys, this could be where I completely like chaos muck it up. Let's do that go because I'm quicker with that one. Why is this horse so fast? Mine is so slow. <laughs> Whoa! Are you even meant to do that? <laughs> this is going to take me so many times. They've got a machine gun. They're getting away. We have to stop them. They have a shotgun. Come on, come on. I don't quite know how this is meant to go. But we'll we'll try again. Yeah. Stay and fight me, you coward! I'll hunt you to hell and back! We... I thought you was tough! Stand in sight! Oh gosh! Okay. Now I'm fucking with you, Bill! Oh my god! <laughs> so intense. I'm coming out! Don't shoot! Here! Take Williamson! Just let me live! I will leave the country, I promise! Huh? You always was weak minded! You're the one who let. 
Is that it? We done it? No big speech? My people are free. And it is all thanks to you, Joe. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Louisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave, and she will be missed. Who was she again? Your peasant girl wife-to-be? Peasant oh, yes, girl wife-to-be. Of course. She, she will have a day named after her. Laura's day. Louisa. What? Oh, yes. I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl. <laughs> he looks like, so beaten right? up. Pompous, bully, was oh, my you God, never so disgusting. Like <laughs> anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the Capitol. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, hey, sing. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. <laughs> That's the polite right way of putting it. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Moan. What now? Are we are we going after Dutch? Hells yeah. Okay, dude, so we are on the road to see Agent Ross. Um, yeah, I don't know what, what happens now. Is this... I mean, the whole part of the game was just to find Javier and Bill. Come on. But um, Go. do we now move on to Dutch? Because that would be pretty cool. Because we are in Blackwater now. It looks so different to Red Dead 2, but also the same. <gasps> they kept the same map. I think they have, you know. Let's go. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Do they keep the same map? Is there like a pub or something on this corner here? Yeah. Because that's where we met. Yeah, that's where we met Sadie. Feeling pretty happy right now. Come on. Oh, sh just leave your horse there. It's fine. One oh one. One oh two. Looks a bit like Strauss. It's not Strauss, is it? I'm here to see Mr. Ross. 107. 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. Uh, are we allowed back here? I would have thought the stairs were to the right. Clearly not. <laughs> Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Ugh. Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <coughs> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston. I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. It's a fair point. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder. Or confiscating all of your property. What? Like that little farm of yours. Or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. Why? But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. We... 
Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave oh. us Williamson and Escuela. We now still we don't have Vanderlyn. Dutch. But now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlight. We believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, oh, yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, well, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay. I really don't yes, like these sir. guys. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. <gasps> You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest <laughs> at heart. Cool. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Marston. Oh, my God. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? He did. The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. <laughs> 344. 345. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with himself. 47. You don't give a shit. Eight. <laughs> Mate, just go. Run. Ooh, you get to go in a car? All right, Mr. Fordham, onward! It's very different music in Isn't the car. This something? Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth! And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the whore's son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad <laughs> this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families too. Come now, you're stupid, but you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. I'm a bit as worried. As we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and Play being a farmer again, or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. Can't erase your past, Mr. Marston, but we can. I don't think these guys are going to play fair. Well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow, but so convenient and reliable. <laughs> are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. 
A bit of a cliche, admittedly, but still a dying breed, like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days. These guys days are so rude. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Not Anything yet, mate. Impossible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the form of assholes like you. <laughs> Touche. Not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. So I get a friend you do as to I help. Say, Marston, Whatever. Don't try anything stupid. Stupid oh, is my middle name. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Let's go, Mr. Can I get out? <laughs> Mr. Fordham, I hope you don't get shot in the head. That would be very, very unfortunate. Are we boarding that boat? Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, you keep quiet. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. I was just you saying. A line, even once. Well, he's, just, he's not exactly dressed for the occasion, is he? Guys, I'm kind of nervous. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to I us. Am... Keep your eyes open. They are open. I know Dutch is nothing. a bad right. person. This place is usually teeming with I don't think I want to kill him, though. Same as I didn't really feel comfortable killing Bill. We let um, Javier live. It's just because I remember the good old days. There's someone up there. You go investigate, I'll keep watch here. Wait, what? Where do I... How do I get up? Is there a ladder in here? Hurry, there's somebody up there! Mate, I'm just trying to find how we get up. Ah, oh, here? Nope, John can't swim. <laughs> Just remembered that. Uh, God, he's not very good with doors either, apparently. How do I... Oh, there's the stairs. It's up again. Now, will I recognise Dutch? That's the question. <laughs> Look at that view. Is this a setup? Over here! I found him! Good God, that's her informant. Gnostics, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> You'll have to carry this man. I don't think he can walk. Bastard! How can I carry him if I'm shooting? Come on, we need to get him to safety. <laughs> it is. Wait. Last chance to walk away. We. You're making a big mistake. I can't see that I put him shooting. This gun is fucking cool though. There's the bastard. Stay with me. Oh my god. It's so difficult. Get 
Boat. Yeah, no shit, mate. I can't run. Put down your weapons. How many of these fools are there? He's there. Over there. Last one. <laughs> oh my god. I can't, I'm stuck. Where's the other one? The army is the I can't see any more of them. Come on, follow me. so slow I can't run oh my god I was so worried I do like this new gun though it's awesome you you little creep you didn't do nothing who's this what in God's name is going on it's your informant Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Sorry, I only carried him from all Put the way. The car so we can get out of here. Oh, we're gonna have to shoot in the car. Is it gonna be like drive by? Let's go. There might be more of them. Can I wait for me? I mean, there'll definitely be more of them. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant. Nastas. Don't get snarky with me, <laughs> Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some you such. Just shut your mouth! What now? Does what does this mean? Are we going to be ambushed again? It certainly feels like it. just gave out well fix it you fool we need to get this man to a doctor of course sir it's Dutch's men Marston we'll hold them off hold them we'll fix that damn engine oh sheesh where are they was not a good idea really wasn't a good idea okay this way. I'm gonna hide behind this one Shit, this 
person. This one? There's one more. Are you here? Where are you? Oh, I was gonna go to get pickups. Oh. Is he dead? I think the informant might be dead. Oh no. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You make me blush with all these kind words. <laughs> So much for this automobile of yours. This yeah, is it'd be future. better on horses. For sure. It's not the automobile. Bad workmen shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. I was trying to escape it's an never ambush, his fault. sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I could walk faster than this piece of crap. Give <laughs> me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderland? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. This no, guy's such a douche. Said enough. We'll find Vanderland soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? Oh, how does it Jumbo feel Pony, to you all right? hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now. Try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much-needed vacation and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed. Where sure. are they? Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. Think of far more upsetting alternatives. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Do these guys just think huh? they're like the most you intelligent people Marshall. on the planet? Oh, Mr. Ross, uh, Mr. Fordham? Good day, good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <sighs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston. Probably not by choice. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good one. <laughs> oh, famous! No cigarette today, John? Nah. Okay, guys, that is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had some mad fun today. I get to use a cannon. We get to shoot Bill. Um, I feel like I've killed everyone across Mexico. So what is left to do? Obviously, we have to find Dutch. Um, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to give it a like, say hi in the comments, or you could even subscribe because that really does help out my channel. I hope you are having a cracking, cracking day and I will see you in the next episode.